Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Smash JT. In this episode, we gotta talk about the PlayStation Classic. Again. And not for the reasons many people are really talking about, but it's not selling very well. Actually, it's not selling at all. Smash JT. For those of you who missed my review of the PlayStation Classic, I'll put a link to it above me, but suffice it to say, it's not a very good system. In fact, here's the end result of what my Smash Mallet thought of it. It didn't really hold up to any kind of testing. The PlayStation Classic is well known for being a terrible system across the entire internet. Everyone's been talking about it this holiday season as one of the worst products ever made for the consumers. It's a clear-cut money grab. My concern was the average Joe consumer would go into the store and pick this thing up and buy it for little Timmy and say, oh, they love this, remind them of what they used to play when they were a kid. I'm going to get the PlayStation Classic form and they'd sell them that way. But taking a look at some of these pictures that are surfacing online, that's not necessarily the case. These things are sitting around in all these major market stores, not selling, collecting dust. For the price tag of $99.99 US dollars, we're talking a hundred bucks for this thing, it's not worth the price tag. And the general public has spoken saying, we're not gonna buy that. It's a piece of crap. Everybody knows it's a piece of crap. It's a clear-cut money grab before the holidays. And now that they've been sitting on these store shelves and floors for a few weeks now, not selling, they can't sit there forever, especially when you consider a lot of these stores got about 10 or 15 or 20 in during their first initial shipment and sold maybe one or two, if that, and then got another shipment of 20 of them in. That doesn't bode very well for the future of the PlayStation Classic. And I see this thing bombing on sales completely. Just looking around from everything that I've seen, the people who are buying this thing are either hardcore Sony PlayStation fans or people that just want to buy it because they want to see just how bad it really is. There's no real casual fans out there buying this thing. And the ones that are, for the most part, are not typically satisfied. There are some people who are happy with it, but the vast majority of people wish that it had dual analog sticks, wish that it had more games on it, wish that it had better games on it, wish that it had better emulation, wish that it had a power adapter that came with it. There were just so many things that went wrong with this and asking for the price of $100, it clearly came up short. So what Sony's going to do with this, they're going to have to put it on clearance. That's the only way they're going to sell these things. And I'm not talking $10 off or $20 off. They're going to need to take a major hit when trying to get rid of these. I'm talking 40 to 50% off, meaning this will be 50 to 60 bucks within the next few weeks. I'm talking about what Bethesda and EA are doing with their games that aren't selling. That's exactly what Sony's going to have to do with the PS Classic because nobody's buying it. They're taking up space, a lot of space, on retail floors. And a lot of these retailers don't want them sitting there if they're not going to be sold. If they're just going to be collecting dust, they'd rather put something else in its place that would actually attract customers. So honestly, do not buy a PlayStation Classic, even if you are thinking maybe you want to give this thing a shot. Maybe it's not as bad as what people are saying. Just hold off a little bit longer because honestly, There'll be plenty available at a far reduced price than what they're selling for right now. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the PlayStation TV situation, the PSTV when that first came out. I really wanted to get one of those, but the price tag was just too damn high. Honestly, I wasn't going to pay, what was it, $150 or $200 for basically a mini system that could only do a certain amount of things that the PSP could do or the PS Vita. Honestly, the PSTV turned out to be one of the best devices Sony's ever made, and I'm glad I picked one up on clearance to find that out. I got mine for like 30 bucks instead of the MSRP of whatever it was, way north of $100. I got it for $30 with a DualShock analog controller and a memory card and the Lego movie. The PlayStation Classic I would not be surprised to see this thing, like I said, go down to $50 or $60, or even cheaper than that. Meaning, Sony is going to take a hit on the sales, and they're actually going to be losing money on this device. And honestly, it serves them right for 
putting together a piece of junk, trying to pass it off as a quality product, and trying to pull the wool over consumers' eyes, they deserve to lose money for this thing. It's trash. I mean, honestly, it looks okay. Well, not in its present state at my house, but before smashing it, it's pretty good shelf material, but it's not made for playing. It's a piece of crap. And Sony knows they need to get rid of these fast before they just sit on shelves forever or else nobody's going to ever buy them even when they get reduced by a little bit of money. So honestly, like I said, if you're interested in getting the PlayStation Classic, just wait. Wait for a clearance sale. And I'm not talking about 20 or 30 bucks off. I'm talking about 40 or 50 or more off this thing. Looking to get it around $50 as a max price point. And even at that price point, I still think it's too much. Honestly, this thing's worth maybe 30 bucks. Maybe. If that's really what you want, something that's convenient for bringing to a hotel and playing with a buddy, 30 bucks might be okay, it's passable. But honestly, there are just so many options these days with technology as far as being able to play a game with a friend on the go anywhere else that you'd be crazy to drop anything more on this thing than about $30. That's what it's worth to me. And honestly, anybody who does more than that, you're throwing money away, you're lighting it on fire. Dare I say, you're smashing it. The PlayStation Classic, looking at the stores going across the nation, Walmarts, GameStops, Best Buys, Targets, among a slew of other retailers that are carrying this thing, there's over 15,000 of these stores in the United States alone selling, we'll say, about 10 a piece at each store. So I'll let you do the math on that. 150,000 of these remaining unsold. That's if there are 10 per store, but I have the sneaking suspicion that there's a lot more than that at most of these stores. And if that's the case, and Sony's not able to sell them for what it costs them to make, which I'm gonna guess it probably costs them about 50 or $60 to manufacture these things, then they're gonna take a serious hit once these start selling for $30, which they will. And when they do, yeah, sure, they'll all be sold at that point. And people will be, for the most part, happy with them. Happy to the point of actually saying, what are people talking about? PlayStation Classic's not that bad. Well, yeah, it's not that bad if you're spending $30 on it, but if you spend any more on it than that, you're gonna be wondering what you did with your money. Just wait. Like I say with a lot of AAA titles, first party games that are bad, anything that gets a bad review in the video game world, take this for what it's worth. Do not buy it. Just wait. Even if you really, really, really want that game. I personally am thinking about the Secret of Mana remake, which at the end of the day wasn't as bad as I was thinking it was going to be, but it wasn't nearly as good as I was hoping it would be. And that had a substantial discount just a couple months after it released. And I wish I waited on it, but I didn't because I was so excited about it. But take this for what it's worth, like I said. Do not buy games on day one. Do not buy game consoles on day one. Do not buy anything in the game space on day one. Don't pre-order, don't wait in line, don't go to the store hoping to get it on day one. That is exactly what these companies want you to do instead of waiting to find out if it's actually worth your money. That's how I feel about the situation and honestly, it's easier said than done. I could take some of my own advice on this. But that's how I feel ultimately, and honestly, the PlayStation Classic situation only reinforces that idea in my mind, and it makes me even more hesitant to ever buy something on day one in the future. I even ended up calling GameStop to make sure I wasn't going crazy here, and sure enough, they have plenty of these in stock, just like Best Buys and Targets and Walmart. Everywhere across the country, these are just sitting there. Nobody's buying them. So. As a bonus for this video, I'm going to end it with my phone call with GameStop. Hello, thanks for calling GameStop, where you can now pre-order Kingdom Hearts 3 still. What can I get you today? Hey, how's it going? I was just wondering, do you guys have any PlayStation 1 Classics in stock? I definitely do. You definitely do? Like, uh, if I were to come down and get one, would you still have them in time for me to get there, do you I think? have plenty. Ple <laughs> Are they not selling that much? Uh, no, we got enough to fill our pre-orders, and a lot of pre-orders decided not to pick them up, so we just have a lot. Really? Like, what's a lot? Is it like five or six? Um, more than ten. More than ten? Oh, wow. Okay. 
Okay. We had a lot of people pre-order it, and like half of them didn't want to pick up. Really? Wow. Yeah. Is it not like are people not coming in to buy it every day? Is it just not selling like people thought it would? Uh, it's not because they, they're thinking off the idea like how the N SNES Classic and the NES Classic did. Mm -hmm. um, this one's a little bit not as great because it has a little bit less games. And then there's only like most of you who want this only want like three out of like the, the 20 games on here. So like it's not worth it. Yeah, especially the price point, right? Like $100 for that. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Do you think that they're going to be on sale soon because they're not selling? Uh, I don't know. I don't control those prices. Um, I want to say if I won't happen in the holiday season, it might happen like mid like February, maybe March area time. I don't know. They might need to offload them before the holidays because if they wait too long, no one's going to buy them. <laughs> uh, yeah, but they're probably going like, to drop down in price by then. Yeah. I'll just slash the price completely. That's true. That's true. Cool. Okay, well, thank you so much for uh, the help, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll consider maybe waiting on it yeah. then. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Not a problem. All right, have a good one. All right, have a nice day.